Whenever I'm cooking dinner or even just walking through the woods, I often catch myself thinking like, what was the first barbecue? What was the first meal? It's an answer, we'll never know the answer to the question. But we do know a lot of things that are interesting about how people probably first started to cook. One of the fascinating parts about the earliest meals we know about is this right here. It's a femur taken from a doll sheep. It's a wild game animal, they live in Alaska. But at a time, sheep were spread, you know, largely around the Northern Hemisphere. We know from archeological remains that humans were dealing with animal meat and animal bones before they had means to hunt effectively. That is, we see in their campsites remains from fires and shards of animal bone long before we notice in the archeological record that they've developed spear points and bows and arrows and things. So they were getting meat somehow. Anthropologists and archeologists argue that early humans, rather than being hunters, were scavengers and they would come across the kill and they would either maybe scare the animals away and, and take the meat or get what the animals couldn't eat. And that's probably one of the keys to early human survival. A lot of animals that hunt and kill big game can't get into this bone. It's very hard to break into a femur when it's cold and raw. But you find if you throw a femur into a fire, and roast it in coals, something happens to the bone and it's something kind of magical because this is almost like a safe guarding the nutrition within and that's the bone marrow. So I'm gonna extract the marrow just like we now understand a caveman would have done it. I'm gonna bake it in a fire until the bone gets brittle. I'm gonna put it on a rock, and in anthropological terms, we'd like to call this an anvil. And I'm gonna take my hammer and extract the marrow. And voila, my recipe is complete. And right here we have one of the richest parts of the animal, the bone marrow. Super high in fat. High energy, probably a little bit high in cholesterol. Some calcium in there too. This is probably one of the earliest meals of anatomically modern humans. But now we're gonna fast forward the clock, 20,000, 30,000 years, and we're gonna get into what may be the first recipe, and by recipe I mean combining two or more ingredients. And I have, right here, a piece of raw meat taken off a deer. This has got a day or two, it's gonna rot, it's gonna be no good for anybody. I wanna preserve it. Cut it, slice it thin, like this, and air dry it. I've now added months to this piece of meat's life, but just by taking the air out of it. If bacteria likes it less, it's dry. I wanna make bacteria like it even less and I'm gonna take oxygen away from it and I'm gonna encase it in fat and make it like a miniature anaerobic little pebble of meat. And I'm gonna do that with my marrow. You pulverize that up, nice little pulp. Then you wanna now make this anaerobic, meaning you wanna make it so there's no oxygen, so no bacteria can survive on there. And I take my marrow, it's liquefied and it's just fat and it's all over. It's on my fingers, it's on everything. And see all that fat on my fingers? Stir that up like that so that stuff gets coated in fat. And what we're making is pemmican. And that's this right here. Air dried meat coated in fat. I'll tell you a story that's interesting. In the 1930s, a guy was tilling a field in Canada, in Alberta and he hit what he thought was a rock. When he pulled the rock out, it was a buffalo hide packed full of pemmican that had dried like a rock and it was still edible, just encased in fat. It's the same principle for making a sausage. This pemmican I made in 2005 from buffalo marrow and dried buffalo meat. It's still fine, it's five years old. But that right there is a way to stretch out the good times. You kill an animal, you're wondering what you're gonna eat in a month, Maybe you're eating this, if you're smart about it. And these guys were definitely smart about it. If they weren't smart, we wouldn't be here talking about this right now.